the fight of the week. Your Saturday night cavalcade of sports features. Brought to you by the Gillette Safety Razor Company. Maker of the new slim adjustable razor. And the remarkable super blue blades that give all but unbelievable shaving comfort. Foamy, the cream of all instant lathers. And Right Guard, the new power spray deodorant for men. Welcome to the fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator. It's Irish night at the garden as Mick Lee, a genuine Irishman from Cork, meets Joey Archer, an American-born son of Aaron in the 10-round middleweight feature. In honor of the occasion, the ring ropes have been painted green and Gladys Gooding has been playing Irish tunes on the organ. The 27-year-old Lee is making his first appearance in this country. A rough, boring type of fighter, Lee has won 41, lost 11, and drew five times. He has scored 15 KOs and was stopped four times, the last when he tried to make the welterweight limit. Archer, whose grandparents came from Ireland, has perhaps the best record in the middleweight division. The 24-year-old resident of the Bronx has won 31 of his 32 bouts, reversing a decision loss to Jose Gonzalez. A superb boxer with a fair punch, Archer has scored seven KOs. Archer is five feet ten and a half, while Lee is five seven. At the New York Commission weigh-in today, Archer was 159 and a half, Lee 155 and a half. In just a moment, we'll bring you the ten-round middleweight fight between Joey Archer and Mick Lee. As you probably noticed, the ringside is studded with Irish derbies. One of them is being won by Reuben Carter now. But anyway, here's Johnny Addy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The next boxing show here, two weeks from tonight, Moro Mina of Peru will meet Henry Hank of Detroit, middleweights. Tuesday night, Sunnyside Garden, Jose Gonzalez will meet Gene Tapia. Here's another future date here in Madison Square Garden on Saturday night, December the 22nd. Domeo Brennan and his opponent, the new KO sensation of the middleweight division, Hurricane Ruben Carter. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here two of the best welterweights in the world. They will meet for the welterweight championship on Saturday night, December the 8th at Las Vegas. The champion first, here he is, Emil Griffith. And his opponent, the challenger, Jorge Fernandez. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Al Burrow, Frank Forbes. The timekeepers, George Bannon, Counting for the knockdowns, referee George Walsh, and the referee for the main event, Irish Jimmy Devlin. Ten rounds. From Cork, Ireland. Wearing white trunks, he weighs 155 and a half pounds, Mick Leahy. Leahy. His opponent from the Bronx, wearing Black trunks, he weighs 159 and a half, Irish Joey Archer. Main event, 10 rounds. Good evening, gentlemen, I'm Joey and Mike. This is your first fight in New York, and we welcome you. You have been informed by the New York State Athletic Commission about the rules and regulations. Editing is clear. Any questions? Mr. Archer, protect yourself at all times, and especially when stepping out of clinches. Shake hands now, and good luck to both of you. Scoring here in New York on a round basis with a supplementary point system in case the rounds come out even on an official's card. The mandatory eight count and the three knockdown rule are in effect. They are wearing eight ounce gloves. It's a 10 round go here in Madison Square Garden. There's the bell for round one. As you probably know from seeing him before, Archer is a uh, very, very capable boxer. He'll have height and reach on, Deb on uh, Mick Leahy. 
getting my Irishman confused. Although he spells his name L-E-A-H-Y, uh, Mick pronounces it and prefers it to be pronounced as Leahy. He's the crowding type of fighter, a little bit like Terry Downs. Archer, a dandy boxer with a good left hand. Each of these boys has been cut on occasion. Lee is showing us a quick right hand. First time we've seen him in action. Got a quick left hand too. One minute to go in round one. Lee keeps pulling that head back out of range when uh, Archer throws a punch. But they're still in the failing out process there in round one. Lee is... Uh, Letting Archer be mobile. Jimmy Devlin getting him apart. Long time since we saw three Irishmen together in the garden ring. There in Archer's corner. Ten seconds to go in round one. the bell. Coming up to round two at Madison Square Garden, Mick Leahy of Cork, Ireland in the white trunks, Joey Archer of the Bronx in the black, Archer a throwback to the good boxers of a year ago. Now Archer seems to be finding him with that jab. Punches from all angles, as you can see. Archer more on the orthodox. It's a good straight left jab and a crossing right. Joey hasn't used a hook to any extent yet. All right, that's all. as he ran into a straight left hand. Round two about half over. Now Lee is coming in awkwardly and uh, leaving himself open when he misses. Step out. 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 Step out.
About a minute left in round two of a ten rounder. Devlin telling them no hitting and holding. Round two almost over. 